A light ray enters through a right angled prism. Given prism is right angled prism. At a point P with the angle of incidence 30 degrees as shown in the figure. It travels through the prism parallel to its base BC and emerges along the face AC. The refractive index of the prism. This is the given diagram. This is right angled prism. Here angle is 90 degrees. Angle of the prism equals to 90 degrees. A light ray is incident on the first surface. Angle of incidence is equals to 30 degrees. Here we don't know the angle of refraction. Let it be R1. The angle between normal and refracted ray. This is R1. So angle of refraction at the first surface is R1. Again this light ray incident on the second surface AC. So take this angle is R2. Angle of incidence at the second surface is R2. This incident ray refracted at the second surface but it grazes along the surface. So here angle of emergence is 90 degrees. Take angle of emergence is I2. I2 is equals to 90 degrees. This is the given information. By using this we have to find out the refractive index of the prism. By using Snell's law solve this question. First surface refractive index of the first medium is air that is 1 and refractive index of the second medium that is prism that is mu. So apply Snell's law mu1 sin i1 is equals to mu2 sin r1. Why? Because here angle of refraction is r1. Mu1 is equals to 1. 1 into angle of incidence 30 degrees. Refractive index of the prism is mu. We don't know angle of refraction. That is r1. Sin 30 value 1 by 2. From this sin r1 is equals to 1 by 2 into mu. 2 mu. So sin r1 is equals to 1 by 2 mu. And the same apply the Snell's law at the second surface. Refractive index of the prism is mu. Mu into sin. Angle of incidence R2. And the second medium is air. So 1 into angle of refraction or emergence. This is 90 degrees. Sin 90. Sin 90 value 1. Mu sin R2 is equals to 1. Then sin R2 is equals to 1 by mu. From the prism we know angle of the prism is equals to R1 plus R2. Take this relation. A is equals to R1 plus R2. From this R2 is equals to A minus R1. Substitute here. Sign of A minus R1 is equals to 1 by mu. Here A is equals to 90 degrees. Sign of 90 minus R1 is equals to 1 by mu. Sin 90 minus theta is equals to cos theta. So cos R1 is equals to 1 by mu. Here we know sin R1 and cos R1. Squaring on both sides here. Sin square R1 is equals to 1 by 4 mu square. Take this as equation 1. And here also squaring on both sides. Cos square R1 is equals to 1 by mu square. Take this is equation 2. We know sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. So take equation 1 plus equation 2. Sin square R1 plus cos square R1 is equals to 1 by 4 mu square plus 1 by mu square. So this value is 1. Take 1 by mu square common. 1 by mu square into 1 by 4 plus 1 is equals to 1. LCM is 4. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 by 4. Take cross multiplication. Mu square is equals to 5 by 4. Then mu is equals to root 5 by 2. Refractive index of the prism is equal to square root of 5 by 2. Second option is correct.